Right, today I'm doing a little mod on a turbocharger. This is on a 1.8 uh, turbo MG Rover engine, but could apply to any turbo engine. Uh, the little mod is something that more modern uh, turbos have. For instance, the Mini Cooper S has an auxiliary water pump, which keeps running after you stop the car, keeps the turbo cool, and stops the oil from coking up, uh, boiling inside the turbo. On the Mini, it's a fairly similar size turbo to the Rover. The supplementary uh, water pump's right down the bottom there somewhere, can't see it from the top. But they add that on later in life, presumably to make the turbo last longer. So that seems like a good idea. As I say, mainstream manufacturers have done it. A lot of the older cars like this MG Rover, this applies to that engine used in the Rover 75, 1.8 turbo, MG6 turbo I guess, probably some others and any turbo engine. What they tend to rely on is just uh, gravity feed of hot water rising and the cold water feeding in through the turbo. You basically have a 20 degree difference. So here's the turbo, that's the cold water feed there where my finger's pointing. The hot water feed or hot water output comes out of a metal pipe. So there is the hot water feed coming out and importantly that difference between that pipe and that pipe this one has to be uh, 20 degrees uh, up compared to this one. So a line drawn through from one to the other should be 20 degrees and that allows the warm water to rise. But what I did notice when I went for a short run just testing this out, not very vigorously, is after I stopped the car you could hear the water boiling in the turbo. So it would be beneficial for it if it was cooled a little bit more. And what I'm going to do is on this cold water feed which actually comes around here on this car this pipe here comes from the um, lower connection of the water cooling system for the radiator so it comes around here so here is the lower radiator pipe up there the other side of the prt pressure release thermostat uh, i've got a t-junction which is i think it's three quarter inch plumbing down to 15 mil plumbing a bit quite easy to uh, use I'm just going to interrupt this pipe and put in an auxiliary water pump. I didn't want to spend a lot of money on it, but I got this one from eBay for £12. It does work. It's from a Renault Scenic 1.9 diesel. It does rotate okay. You can see the direction of the water flow by that arrow. So all we've got to do is have it pumping out to the turbo and I'll have to position it something like that. Attach this pipe, connect this one onto here, that one onto this one. And uh, then what we're going to do is obviously plug it in and have a little circuit. Now we could have designed something ourselves using a little timer. But to manage to get this little module fairly uh, cheaply from eBay, it's £11 including postage and including this nice little case. Um, so it's... Um, it's a digital solution, it uses a little microcomputer chip and uh, has some presets for setting it into different delay modes, which we'll come to in a minute. So the idea is that we'll wire it up with this simple circuit that I've roughly sketched up and the pump will run when the ignition is on and it'll run for another whatever number of minutes you decide. I'm going to put it to about four minutes or something, I think. I'll run for four minutes after the emission has been turned off. Hopefully that allows enough time for the turbo to cool down. If it's not, you can extend the time. And the nice thing about this module is it gives uh, an accurate display of the time. And because it's a digital countdown timer, it's not going to change over time to a fixed amount. And also, once you set up the mode, it remembers it after the power's been disconnected. Well, you might be able to hear here, if you listen very carefully, perhaps. There's a little bit of bubbling away of the water because the turbo's got very hot. Uh, it's been sitting idling for about 15 minutes. Turned it off. You can just about hear it there. And if I turn on the additional um, water auxiliary pump, just put the ignition on because I haven't got the timer on it at the moment. And you can hear the pump running. And the water is no longer boiling inside the turbo. So that's got to do the turbo a lot of good, I reckon. 
keeping it cool after your engine is turned off. So there's only two other components we need to go with our timer module, uh, which is these diodes, both the same part number, picked them up uh, on eBay, quite cheap. Uh, I went for Schottky diodes, which are very low voltage drop uh, across the diode. And if you don't know anything about diodes, then a diode is something that conducts electricity one way and not the other. And this band on the end, on the left-hand side here, when that is negative, it'll conduct, and when it's positive, it won't. So this is the wiring of the circuit board. And obviously I need to insulate up around the wires. I'm going to wrap these diodes in insulating tape, put the module back in its case. Um, and it's all wired up according to this circuit diagram. And I'll just walk you through some of the connections. So we have permanent battery positive comes in onto the center connection. Then we have uh, the power off to the water pump, which is this brown wire on the right, goes to the bottom connection, along with this diode connected that way around. Also connects to another diode. The middle connection part goes onto this end, this terminal, which is the what they call the VCC input. Basically that's the power to the module. And then we've got a ground connection on the bottom. This one here goes off the ground. And the middle connection is the signal input, uh, which goes off to this end of the diode, which connects to a switched uh, ignition positive. So from an ignition supply, 12 volts, that only comes on when the ignition's on. Uh, let's just wrap everything up, tidy it up and tuck it out of the way. Well, that's our unit all cased up and insulated off. Just going to tuck it away under the dashboard. Um, but before we do that, we have to program it. So to program it, enter into programming mode by pressing and holding this left hand button. And what is displayed, I need to shelter the display a little bit, there we go, uh, is the programming mode. And as you press this, it goes through the four programming modes. So you move on to program mode four. And then the next button, the middle button, controls um, what parameter you then change. So as you keep pressing it, the digit will flash. And to change the numbers, use the uh, right hand button. So cycle around and so on, and just keeps going around back to zero. And middle button goes on to the next digit and so on. When no digit is flashing at all, you will see if you press the right hand button to change a value that the decimal point moves either sits on the right or sits in the middle or nothing at all when it's nothing at all those numbers mean uh, seconds if it is uh, there those numbers mean minutes and if it's there then it means seconds and points of a second so what we want to set up you could either set it to four minutes which would be with the point on the right hand side or you could set it in seconds so you can see the countdown a bit more active which I'll do now so I'm going to set it to uh, that which is no decimal point and then I'll set it to 240 seconds which is four minutes so I then need to press the middle button and then the right hand button keep pressing that until we get two press the middle button again to select the next digit so I'm going to select four by pressing the right hand button and back to the middle button again and then the right hand button change it to zero and to have done so now when we turn off the ignition see the unit keeps working it's counting down in seconds in the background I can hear the water pump slight little whir noise still running and uh, when it counts down to zero it'll then switch off the water pump the unit itself will have its power disconnected so it won't be consuming um, any power at all so it won't be draining your battery which is always a, a good idea right um, that's how to build a very simple um, a very effective uh, run on timer for an additional water pump for a turbo to make your turbo last longer thanks for watching good luck with yours Cheers. Bye.